Good morning all, hope you enjoyed yesterday's video and uh, welcome back. It's Tuesday morning and uh, yeah, I've got some wood in the back of the van now. Going to put the workbench in it and uh, see how we go from there. Should be good. Hey, here we go, progress update. I've got my workbench on. It's all profiled to the back of the van here. Nice and, uh, nice and neat. I've left that gap there. I'll run an extension cable up from the inverter. Put some plug sockets on here to charge batteries and things like that, keep it nice and neat. Um, I've also put a bit of wood up this here, which I'll paint grey, um, and that'll, that'll finish it off nicely, I think. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Right, <coughs> I'm gonna go through all of this stuff now. And uh, yeah, I reckon the pile of stuff that'll be left out of this van will be uh, rather large. We'll see. Progress is good. I'm just on with doing a bit more fabricating. See if you can guess what that bit of flat plate metal's gonna be. Oh, I'm fair impressed with myself for thinking of this one. Any ideas yet? Oh, I'll show you in a minute. Oh, yes. Look at that. Nice, easy access. Everything's off the floor, so I've got more floor splits. Another one over there for some more bits and pieces. Um, I don't normally, uh, don't normally use that blue drum there. Um, I just use it for carrying all the stuff, so it takes up quite a bit of space. And I had a brainwave last night, so yeah, pleased with that. Right, I'm going to go home now and uh, have some tea. I'll be honest. I haven't had any lunch, so I'm definitely flagging. Right, back on the road tomorrow. Um, have some parts ordered in. Probably there's an electric lift pump on a dumper as well. Uh, that came in sort of in the last half an hour or so. So I'll go and do that tomorrow, and that'll be my first day's work in the van. It's a shame I haven't got my plumbing light bars and beatings and things on, but. I'll have to make time for that. Right, see you in the morning. Hello, it's uh, Wednesday morning now, and uh, I've just nipped into the yard. It's eight o'clock, two minutes past eight. Um, I'm just gonna pick up this electric lift pump that arrived yesterday, I forgot to pick it up. Um, and I'll just nip up the road. It's only a quarter of a mile up the road. Um, there is a three ton dumper with uh, bad running, poor running fault, I'll say. So I'll just nip in and get that and uh, we'll nip up the road and put it on. Right, got me a bit. Um, last night I did a, sort of a bit of a van tour inside all my drawers and things like that. Um, what I think I'll do, I've got a training course week after next for two days down in Coventry on these uh, Mechlach dumpers. So uh, that runs for Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'll save that video because it's about 13 minutes long looking through, uh, looking around the back of the van. I'll save that till uh, week after next as part of the video because I'm not sure how much uh, I'll get filmed and what it'll be like obviously sitting in a classroom learning about dumpers. So um, I'll save that for something to look forward to if you will um, for week after next. I think that's a good idea. Can have a look around the van then. Okay, I'll just nip up uh, up to this dumper, put this electric lift pump on, and we'll go from there. I've got a 140 in the woods um, that needs a cab fan motor. Um, it's packed in, so I 
I think we've got one on the shelf. I'll nip back in and find out. I want to catch this dumper before it disappears because it's putting tarmac down in a park and hopefully it'll be in the compound which is in the car park rather than halfway around the park so it'll save us a walk hopefully. Okay, see you in a minute. Right there it is, um, yeah I'll just go and put this electric lift pump on it, see how we come on. There we go, the, um, the wires here pulled off the electric lift pump so the injection pump was doing a lot of hard work sort of pulling the fuel out the tank. Um, so I've replaced the lift pump and where the plug for the lift pump was cable tied it was down under that inline filter there which when I plugged this in made this wire pretty tight so I've clipped the cable tie off and moved it further up just to hold it so hopefully that won't happen again. Nice easy job, first job on the first job out in the van and it isn't even a do sand digger, never mind. Right, I'm loaded up now. I'm heading up to Kielder, up into the woods there to see a 14 ton dash five for, what was wrong with it? Oh, the cab fan isn't working. Um, so we'll go and get a look at that. Probably going to be the fan motor, I would imagine. Um, so I've got one of them in the van just in cases. You never know, it might be something else, but I would say 80% of the time, it is the motor so i have had uh, like cigarette papers blocking blocking the fan up from going around bits of grit stuff like that so we'll see what it is but i think it'll be the motor i'll catch you up there two diggers working over there on that hillside and there's another one over there and um, yeah not too bad there's a couple of tiny tiny rattles but nothing i can't live with um, and to be honest with you when i've come up here in the past in that other van i've not really kind of enjoyed the journey it's been a bit a bit like hard work driving but uh, this van's just smooth and quiet and comfortable comfort's unbelievable like it's uh yeah, I'm really happy with it. fan motor fitted just sits in the back of there that bit there's the motor what i did just to double check was uh, i unplugged it from the harness put my multimeter in it i was getting 24 volts so um, i've got power to there and nothing's happening with the motor should be able to hear it whizzing away now that's it sorted just put this plate back on now and uh, pack up right um I'm back through at Carlisle, I've just been doing one or two more bits on the van which you'll see in a later video. Um, yeah, I've uh, quite enjoyed today getting a first run out in the van fully loaded so to speak and uh, yeah, really really impressed with it. It's, uh, it's a lovely thing to sit in and uh, yeah, nice and easy to drive as well so 
that's half the fight isn't it um yeah we'll round it up today then thanks very much for watching and uh, don't forget if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, if you've enjoyed the video give it a little like thanks very much everybody that's commenting and uh, all of you that are enjoying it uh, really appreciate the feedback and uh, uh, yeah if there's anything that you do want to see um, just leave it down in the comments I'm making a bit of a mental list of uh, all the things to try and put in future videos so I do read all the comments and uh, sort of try and interact with you all so thanks very much again and we'll see you tomorrow morning